Buying a house these days quite often involves trying to predict the future, and of course it isn't an exact science estimating what might happen to a particular area's property prices in 5, 10 or even 20 years' time. You might hope that you're going to be moving to an up-and-coming neck of the woods or close to a new transport route that's not yet open, all in the expectation that prices will have gone up by the time you want to sell. But equally, of course, it might be that something totally out of your control could make the value of your house go down. And there doesn't have to be anything definite on the cards for that to happen. Well, that's the situation that some residents of one tiny Lancashire village say that they're now facing. Not because of hard facts, but thanks to a lot of uncertainty and speculation that's surrounding a big story that's in the news. Rosica in Lancashire. Nine miles outside Blackpool, this sleepy spot consists of little more than 20 houses and two farms, all with uninterrupted views over the rolling countryside beyond. A beautifully set four-bedroom semi-detached house here would typically be expected to sell for something in the region of £300,000. Or at least that was the case. But now, some fear that Rosica's sleepy solitude could be about to change. Shale is important for our country. It could bring 74,000 jobs, over three billion pounds of investment, give us cheaper energy for the future, and increase our energy security. Yes, the controversial process of hydraulic fracturing, better known as fracking, could be on its way to Rosica. If the energy exploration company Quadrilla gets its way, this will be one of the first sites in the country where the practice is able to happen on this scale. And while fracking has been safely carried out in other parts of the country, in 2011 it was temporarily banned after something very unexpected happened. The 1.5 magnitude quake is the second in the area in two months. An industrial process that causes earthquakes clearly isn't great, even if it is only small local tremors. After two minor earthquakes in 2011, close to an earlier fracking site also near Blackpool, the government called to a halt any more drilling while Quadrilla investigated. And although it was found that the Blackpool earthquakes were likely to have been caused by the drilling, that's unusual, and there's no evidence that fracking could always have such side effects. Indeed, in the USA, where it's becoming increasingly common, tremors linked to fracking are rare. So now, with its promise of cheap and plentiful energy, fracking is back. And in February of 2014, Quadrilla announced that Rosica would be one of just two sites where it would apply for permission to test for shale gas. But some local residents weren't happy with that, fearing that the news might have an impact on the value of their homes. It's good to put people off wanting to move here. Oh, you're not going to choose a home near a fracking site. If the fracking goes ahead, we would want to move due to the, the potential health risks and the, the noise and the traffic. Um, but my fear is that we won't be able to, uh, that we'll be financially trapped with a huge mortgage uh, and unable to sell the property. One man who has managed to sell his house, which was half a mile from the proposed site, says he was only able to sell it by accepting a hugely knocked down price. We were very disappointed in the offer. Uh, under normal circumstances, I think we would have rejected it. But um, after going on the internet and doing some research, we found that on quite a few websites, it said house prices in fracking areas would drop 20 to 30 percent. So we took the offer and took the loss. However, other locals who've had difficulty selling their home put it down to simply a tough local market and say that it's too easy for the blame to be put on an issue on which the community is already split. I think there is a fear of fracking. Uh, personally, I'm not really against it. Quadrilla stresses that evidence from elsewhere suggests that fracking shouldn't have any effect on house prices. But while the arguments rumble on, some residents say that whatever the long-term reality, the short-term uncertainty has already led to potential buyers pulling out. Roland and Marie Taylor had decided to sell their home for health reasons before the fracking proposals had even been announced. We need to be on one level because I've just gone through quite a trauma um, with a major op and we think if we leave it any longer, it'll be too late to move because we'll be too old to do it. 
The couple originally put their house on the market in the middle of 2013, and by the new year they'd found a buyer and agreed a sale. But when they found out that Quadrilla had identified Rosica as a potential fracking site, the buyers pulled out. Disappointed, Roland and Marie put the house back on the market, and sure enough, another couple became interested. And we could tell that they liked it. And I did bring the subject of fracking up because I thought there's no point them viewing and then going away and then finding out. So they obviously went home, read about fracking, rang the estate agent and said, sorry, it's everything we want, but we can't take the risk because of fracking. So we lost the sale yet again. So, despite the fact that there's no concrete proof that fracking might regularly cause ground tremors, health issues, or indeed any of the concerns that some locals and campaigners have voiced, it seems just the fear that it might has already put some buyers off. Roland and Marie have now decided to put their house up for rent, rather than risk any further delay. We have to move while we're fit to move. Uh, we can't just sit here forever and say, well, we'll see what happens in another 20 years. The worst comes to the worst, then we'll have to move then. It will be too late. It may seem absurd that while before the final decision on fracking is even made, just the simple possibility that it might happen could have any sort of impact. But as property expert Henry Pryor explains, uncertainty can be a killer for the house market. The threat of fracking is one of those things that can have a detonating effect on house prices. Uh, for many people, it not just knocks off a percentage from the value of the house, it can in some circumstances make it utterly unsaleable. The big problem at the moment is of course uh, the, the, the threat is unquantifiable. We haven't yet got case studies to be able to uh, talk to people and say that we can quantify the problem that might exist with even the threat of fracking. Henry says that any buyer, wherever they're looking, has to look years, often decades into the future, before spending hundreds of thousands of pounds on a house. When you're looking that far ahead, even the slightest possibility of something going wrong can mean the end of a deal. We asked Quadrilla about the effects that locals say the proposed drilling has had on house prices in Rosica, as well as reiterating that there are no proven scientific health risks associated with fracking. They are confident that nor is there any evidence since the process began in the 1970s that house prices have been impacted negatively. They point out that there's already been some fracking just one and a half miles from Rosica, and it's had no impact on house prices in the 20 years since it began. And they also wanted to allay other concerns about the possible effects of fracking, such as heavier traffic, stressing there's been extensive consultation with residents and that they will pay a community benefit of £100,000 per wellhead, plus 1% of the revenue in areas where it does take place. We also spoke to the government who said fracking presents a huge economic benefit to communities and that there is no reason to expect any adverse effects on property values. Instead, the impact is likely to be broadly similar to the effects of traditional mining with the same robust safety and environmental regime. Shortly after that, however, the issue hit the news again when an official report into the impact of fracking was published with information about this very point apparently censored doing little to alleviate the fears of those locals who remain convinced that the uncertainty is having an effect on the area's property prices. Nobody knows what is going to happen. Nobody can answer the questions truthfully. And people are quite afraid. <laughs>